comrades, welcome back to workers and resources Soviet Republic. My name of course is of the potato and today we start our adventure in potato grad. That is right potato grad the thus yet untapped bountiful town filled to the brim with labor looking to work for the Republic the glorious Republic. I'm so as to increase the greatness of our glorious state. That's right. Anyway, we're starting in Potato Grad today. We're starting in Potato Grad today because I have this wild idea. I have this wild idea I, about trying to use like all of the different population centers around the map. As you can see, we've already got sort of this, I guess, little like duo trio of towns, I guess, if you can call a uh, Disneylandovsk a, a, a town now. I guess you can, maybe, if it's just a, a tourist hotspot. Anyway, uh, the point is, is that we've got Touristovsky. We've got Touristovsky and we've got, uh, we've got Kolovskysky. <laughs> the, the name never gets easier. Uh, yeah, so we've got Touristovsky and Kolovskysky. And then we've got, uh, we've got another place, uh, over here, which is gonna be renamed at some point. But I have, I have big plans for this little town, as you can see on the map right over here. Then we've got, then we've got, uh, then we've got, yeah, there, Krudinovsky. Krudinovsky over there, wonderful. Also, I, I do know that we have apparently run out of uh, of fuel on these on these trucks and so we need to fix that the reason apparently why why they've run out of fuel is because this uh, this gas station ain't got a power supply which is absolutely useless and um, something that I'm not very happy about at all actually and in fact you know what we'll we'll plonk down another fuel station right now because frankly it's not worth the hassle of connecting up it's not worth the hassle. Actually, is it worth the hassle? Given that there's a transformer literally right there. Yeah, you know what? I can, I can probably, I can probably throw a, uh, I can probably throw a transformer in there. Just a low wattage cable. That's probably the cheapest, right? Yeah, that probably costs about, you know, four or five, four or five grand tops. Anyway, so that fixes, that fixes the fuel station issue. That should stop uh, these two trucks from running out of fuel. There's another truck that's, I think, run out of fuel all the way over there, but it's just a, I think it's just a mass dumper. Yeah, it was just a mass dumper doing some delivery of some stupid resource. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. What I mean to say is that we've got Krudinovsky, uh, Jawol, which is going to be renamed, and Litopa, which is also going to be renamed. These are going to be our three oil towns. As I say, got big plans for this little place. Big plans for this little place, which we'll talk about in uh, in a future episode at some point. Um, this place? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sure that we'll be able to find something. In fact, I know. I have another idea about what we'll put here. But for now... For now, for now, for now, let's chat about, let's chat about Potato Grad. Let's chat about Potato Grad. So, the one decided, the uh, distinguishing characteristic about Potato Grad, that's the word. The one distinguishing characteristic about Potato Grad is that we've got a population of 135 people that live in these city houses. Excellent. Cool. Very, very happy with that. The other, the other, the other, the other distinguishing, uh, the other distinguishing factor is that it is right next to this really, really key river. And this is why I kind of like the way that this world kind of spawned and the fact that we have our capital, Potato Grant, which I eventually hope to grow to the largest city on the map. Um, we've got this, we've got this lovely, lovely river that is right next door, which means, which means, which means, which means, all of the resources that we need to transport bete between Potato Grant and, you know, the rest of the rest of the the rest of the empire the rest of the glorious republic we can hopefully do via boat this maybe seems like a little bit of a, a crazy thing to do however you got to remember uh, i think a couple of extra boats have been added and therefore it should be it should be a little bit easier it should be a little bit easier for us to uh, for us to move things around via boat now what are we going to move via boat i hear you ask well it's a great question and um, there are two things there are two things that um there are two things that tourists need. First of all, they need a place to stay, uh, and i.e. that is the hotels. In fact, one of which is actually built. Oh my goodness, are we gonna are we gonna turn Disneylandovsk on today? That would be pretty pretty exciting. Uh, so yeah, they need a hotel, which is fine, but they also need food. I don't think they need alcohol, although I think alcohol sweetens the deal a little bit. Either way, before we get it completely turned on, it would be really really great if we had the ability to supply. To supply all of these tourists coming into our glorious republic, you know, with a with a little bit of local food, a little bit of local food, a little bit of um, 
a little bit of bread. A little bit of a little bit of bread and some, you know, that was a way to say some meat. Yeah, a little bit of meat as well. Uh, and then, you know, we really we really show the tourists a good time. We show them a good time by giving them by giving them some some excellent some excellent local cuisine. Uh, of course, I'm being sarcastic. There is no such thing as excellent cuisine here. Anyway, the point uh, the point that I was trying to make is that I think the potato grad would be would be pretty fantastic actually, given that we can supply we can supply right the way down. In fact, we, well, we may need to we may need to knock down a few bridges, but you know that's never stopped me before. Uh, you know, we may need to knock a few bridges down across the across the river here. Yeah, this bridge is going to have to go. But look at this. There's two bridges in very, very close proximity. Uh, you know, two bridges? It's a luxury, comrade. It's a luxury, I tell you. You, you only need one bridge. That one bridge is, is, is the only one that's necessary. We'll, we'll give you a, a bigger bridge, a greater bridge, the best bridge. Anyway, uh, I think that we're going to see if we can try and set up a little bit of uh, a little bit of food production. There's actually there's actually quite a lot of free space over here very, very, very close by to Potato Grad, so I, I think that there's a good chance that we'd be able to get uh, a pretty decent food setup at Roundabout Potato Grad. We've got to be careful. We've got to be careful because this little peninsula that we're on is is not huge, and if we do want to expand Potato Grad to be very, very large, we're probably not going to want to build anything here. For now, that is. Uh, but we'll want to build, like, city buildings, and we'll want to expand out that way uh, at some point. Maybe even on top of the hill, although building on top of hills is a, is a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see if we can try and do food. Now, this is going to be aided by the fact that we now have, I, I believe, a couple of additional boats. Um, so that's what I'm going to that's what I'm gonna try and do. That's what I'm going to see if we can try and set up first. Uh, a small harbor in the first instance... Is that what we care about? Do we care about a, a medium harbor or a, or a small harbor? I feel like if we're gonna go big, we should just go for it, you know? And also we need to make sure that this is set up in such a way that it doesn't absolutely suck. What about a large harbor? Is there, not, is there no such thing as a large harbor? There's a big dry dock, but there's no such thing as a large harbor. Okay, all right, that's excellent. So a small harbor is very, very very, very easily achievable, but I almost feel like it's a little bit lame. The cost is about a third, though. The cost is literally a third. I mean, how challenging would it be to do a little bit of terraforming here? I mean, it would be possible. I just don't know how much we really want to do it. Why don't we start with a small one? Why don't we start with a small one, and then we can, um, and then we can work it up, and then we can work it up from there. I tell you what I can do. I tell you what I can do. I can actually put the small harbor like over here. And there, and this may seem like a little bit, a little bit crazy, but I really, really like this location for the for the medium harbor, and I'd really love to keep this space free. So when we do eventually decide to terraform this area, we can immediately just you know get started on that. So let's let's you know punt the punt the small harbor down over here. Let's not auto build quite yet. Let's not auto build quite yet. We also will not need to import fuel because we're we're going to be able to deliver fuel. So that's kind of nice. So that's excellent. Um grain 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 grain. Also, we need to kit uh, we need to kit potato grad out with a, an appropriate level of you know, uh, people people satisfaction buildings. What, what, what does the video game call them? Equipment for citizens, that's right. Equipment for citizens, that's that's it. Uh, but, you know, first, before we do that, I would really, really like to get at least, like, a, a rough idea of what the, um, of what the, of what the farming setup is going to look like. And actually, is this a, is this a deep puddle? Is this a big, is this a big puddle right here? It, it could very well be uh, a little bit of a deep puddle. I'd kind of like to test that, so let's, um, let's go and grab a construction office. Let's go and grab a construction office. We're going to auto-build that construction office. We're going to build it over here. We're going to unpause. Uh, I am running very, very low on rubles, by the way, so I'm hoping that over the course of this episode as well, I can make my first sale uh, of oil, perhaps, to... I guess the western side It's probably a priority. Right, four excavators, four, four bulldozers. And we're going to see if we can level, just as a, a point of, nope, just as a point of curiosity how deep it actually is. I think it doesn't actually look that deep. I kind of didn't really anticipate that it would be that deep. Uh, okay, it gets deeper. It gets deeper. It does get deeper, but 
at the end of the day, it's not terribly deep. I mean, either way, we don't really need to worry about it too much at the moment because we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be building a farm on here for quite a while. We're not going to need that many fields immediately, but it's just something to keep in mind, something that I'll probably do between episodes. Why am I doing it right now? I don't know. There's something about smoothing land, which is actually, like, tremendously therapeutic, and I really don't know why, but it's really, really good. I'm going to have to tear myself away from that. Uh, right, so I think that there are actually uh, a couple of modified buildings that might be able to help us in this endeavor. So we have a farm V2. Yes, yeah, so the difference between a farm V2... Or even a small farm. I tell you what, a small farm might not be the worst thing in the world. But, you know, let's not worry about that for now. Uh, farm V2. What's the difference between a farm V2? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Max wattage, 50k. It might be like a vehicle limit. It might be a vehicle limit. I, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Uh, like, looking at it straight away. It, the warehouse is slightly larger. The warehouse is 300... Um, is 300 tons here, I guess. What's the what's the cost to build this? 59,000, and then the modded one is 59,000 as well. Okay, well, I guess that seals the deal. We are absolutely going to be building a modded one, because it's probably better. Okay, let's get that built in the first instance. Okay, let's get that built in the first instance. Farming has always been one of these one of these things which has just like really fascinated me uh, in this game it's actually like really good i think it's one of the best elements it's got one of the best um supply trees in the game i just like it i just like it i like how grain can become you know meat through cows or it can become uh, alcohol through a brewery or it can become bread through a food factory uh, the whole thing is just really really nice anyway get this built wow we have less than four million rubles here Oh, the bridging loans are a coming. I can smell them coming around the bend, and and they smell terrifying. They smell absolutely terrifying. Right. So whilst that is being built, let's see if we can try and throw in a small shopping center or something over here. Yeah, something like that. Cool. We'll get that built. Uh, we'll just auto supply all of these things for now. We'll auto supply all of these things for now. A pub right next to the church. There you go. You can, you can go and uh, ask for redemption after you have a uh, after you have a couple of bevies, as they say. And what else do we need? Equipment for citizens. I mean, that's that's mostly it. But we can get a cinema. We can throw down a modded cinema as well. There we go. A nice uh, a nice small cinema. Yep. Squeeze that in there. Oh, actually, yeah, fire brigade, fire brigade, and hospital. I'd, I'd almost forgotten that those were things that uh, that needed to exist. And actually, I tell you what, we should probably, before we go much further, plan a big bus platform. A big bus platform is probably pretty crucial here, given that I want everyone to be to be bussed around, or maybe even trammed around. Maybe we could tram people. What about we? What about tramming people? What about tramming people to the farm? I feel like that's a pretty unusual way to go, but, like, kind of kinda cool, right? Kind of cool? I kind of like that idea. And we can probably fit a big... Yeah, we can totally fit a big platform in here. Do we want to fit a big platform in... Ah, we probably want to squeeze it in right about here. Okay. Some slight adjustments. 13,000 rubles. Okay, this is going to be our first, like, purpose-built railway... I say our first purpose-built railway. I mean, we've built, or we're in the process of building uh, another railway at the moment. But that's not really a... It's not much of a real railway, if you think about it. Because we haven't actually built it yet. So therefore, we still need to we still need to work on that. Okay, so that's that. We need to get a... I did get the modded cinema over there. I still need to do... I still need to do the... There's so much to do now. There's so much to do. I kind of like it. I like uh, I like the fact that there's loads that there's loads of buildings that the citizens demand. It's much more it's much more realistic. Okay, so a hospital and a fire station over at this side of town. We might need to start padding out Potato Grad's population literally immediately, but we can worry about that later. Uh, I also want to get heat infrastructure set up immediately because even though the the native buildings aren't going to require it, we are almost certainly going to. Yeah, require... And actually, does... Does the cargo harbor require... No, the cargo har harbor surely doesn't require heating. Uh, so we'll get a we'll get a large heat exchanger 
in here. Uh, we'll see if we can try and throw it down. Right about over there. Yeah, sure. That's looking good. I, I presume that that cover is pretty much everywhere. Yeah, that covers pretty much everywhere. Okay, so that's excellent. What we can also do... I think that we can get away, f away with a small heating plant at the moment. I think we can get away with a small heating plant. We'll build a small heating plant. We should build a large heating plant. We should build a large heating plant. Look, potato grad's going to get huge. What's the point of even considering, considering an alternative? Okay, so we build... We build the big heating plant over here. We're going to get a little bit of aggregate storage. Man, I just love... I love planning out these things. It's incredibly satisfying. It really is. Okay. And that can go in there. Cool. Excellent. And we'll set up cold deliveries to this power plant. Uh, or to this heating plant. Hopefully kind of soon. We'll get that connected up. That's looking wonderful. We do need to get a train station at this end over here. I guess right in here would be a perfect place for the... Uh, for the train station to be. A large train platform. Don't mind if I do. Let's do it. Excellent. Okay, so that's the train platform at the other end. We need to get the we need to get the railroad connected up, but that's not necessarily a problem. I'm trying to do two things at once. It's 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 big brain time, potato. It's big brain time. Except I don't have a big brain and therefore there's there's uh frequently something that gets left behind. Okay, let's sort out the edumacation first. Let's sort out the edumacation. Kindergarten. I mean, look, I should just get a big kindergarten. I don't know why I keep faffing around with these tiny little ones. They're they're just not good. They're just absolute garbage. They really are. I mean, you know, we're doubling down. We're doubling down on, on Potato Grad being absolutely massive. So, I mean, why don't we seriously commit to that? Uh, only problem is, like, access for people to be able to walk to the kindergarten. I almost want to, like, demolish... I almost want to, like, demolish a couple of these houses here. Because that would make things so much easier. Except everywhere is full. Hmm. I mean, that would be... That would be a not terrible alternative. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's, let's throw it in there. I mean, that's just the kindergarten. We need to consider the school as well. Where on earth the school is going to go? I, I have no idea. Okay, so I think we should be able to do some finagling with this path. Yeah. Excellent. And that connects up there. Wonderful. And that connects in there. Cool. So, will that give us... Will that give us the access that we're after? I suspect not, but that's okay. Uh, also, there were a couple of suggestions about just, like, upgrading roads in general. If we're able to upgrade roads to the roads with whatever they're called, uh, these ones, if we upgrade them to asphalt road with streetlights and sidewalks, then, you know, that would make, uh, that would make a pretty big difference to walk speed. I'm aware. I'm aware. We will end up doing that. I kind of like it when we're able to upgrade our own roads, though. Like, it's, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to do. Oh, actually, that reminds me. There was a really, really great suggestion in the comments, and I just completely, completely forgot that, that these things existed. Uh, but cranes. Cranes, that's right. We can either buy a tower crane, booyah, or we can buy a road crane. That looks like a new crane, maybe? Level 26, level 26, 57, 65. Okay, we'll buy, like, I don't know. Three, four. Four of those. They're actually quite cheap. Uh, and I suspect that they're probably going to end up being used. Okay, so we'll end up unpausing. Uh, the game lags a little bit. There we go. Some cranes get loaded onto the back of trucks. Looking good. And they will be dispatched to the construction site, which is, uh, which is excellent. Now, where the heck did Potato Grad go? I've lost Potato Grad. Please help. I jest. Okay, train platforms being built, heating plants being built. Oh boy, we're spending so much money. We're spending so much money. We're spending so much money. Please help. Please send help. Send send help. We're we're spending so much money. I'm I'm scared. I'm very scared. Things are things are scary. Uh, we need to get the heat pipes. We need to get the power. We need to get. I think the small shopping center will be enough. We'll probably want to get a big shopping center at some point. Probably stick it down here. I might actually zone it. I might actually zone it and then forget about it. Yeah. Okay, don't auto-build that. 
just uh, yeah, just just zone this here so that I so that I remember that it that it exists and remember that it should go there. Hospital, fire station, kindergarten, literally just the school, literally just the school, and we're gonna get a modded school yet again because the modded school is much better than the default school, and I like it greatly actually. We can't have it on the outskirts of town. We really can't. We need to have it somewhere central. We need to have it somewhere central. I feel like this is probably not the worst place for it up here. It's just a little bit far away. That's the only thing, right? Sure. Okay, you know what? We'll we'll give it a shot. We'll see we'll see if it works. Fund that. How much do these things cost? 105,000 rubles. Yeah, this is the problem with building in Potato Bread, uh, if you can't tell. We are in the middle of the map, or just about as close to the middle of the map as you can get um, in a major population center. So, uh, the most expensive uh, construction costs are going to occur right now. So, you know, just buckle up, buckle in, and, and get ready. Okay. Train platform's looking good. Let's sort out the power supply now. Now, where is the nearest power cable? It's probably over in Krudnovsky, but... We might actually just be able to import power. Might be able to just import power from over here. Ooh, actually, that 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 brings up another great uh, great point. If I head back to, if I head back to, to here, Kolovskysky, I just want to check. I just want to check that we're actually able to use our power plant to produce power. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are. We're we're not getting anywhere near enough number of workers, and I suspect that that is because. I suspect that that's just because we don't have the population here. So what I'm going to do in order to ensure that we're... In order to ensure that we are able to... There we go. In order, in order to ensure that we're able to actually produce power. Uh, and therefore spend a little bit less money. I'm going to see if we can try and import some, some labor. So that's what we're going to do right now. Whilst we're waiting for a couple of other buildings to get finished up over in Potato Grad. There we go, so do that, do that. Again, we're going to turn, we're going to turn to our favorite residential structure. That's right, it's the 21 story prefab flats. I like a lot, big likes, do that. And we will buy and buy. And they only cost 24 grand, the bigger expense by far is of course the fact that we have to <laughs> we have to pay to to get people into the country uh so yeah that's expensive but i mean it's absolutely worth it if we're able to save uh, a little bit of uh, of our power costs so that is that is pretty darn good so this is going this is the power cable that's going all the way over uh to to krudnovsky we have the option actually we do have the option to just to just take a a a route out of this transformer and then just literally head directly maybe not directly per se that's fine uh, directly to potato grad over here how much is this gonna set me back I don't want to know how this is a, it's a hundred and forty grand it's a hundred and forty grand and I've pathed to the wrong city a little bit that's okay um 200,000 rubles. 200,000 rubles, and we'll pop down a power transformer over here. It'll be a, a modded power transformer so that we can path out the other side if we want to. 200,000 rubles. Is this what I really want to spend? Do I really need the best power cables? I feel like I absolutely... Look at this. Look at this terrible power cabling here. The. It's just... I'm just wasting so much money. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do that. Okay, let's let's see if we can try and maybe, you know, bring a more reasonably sized power cable across. Okay, it also gives us a little bit of variety as well. A little bit of variety in the in the power cabling department, which I kind of like. Are we able to cross? We're able to cross that uh, that divide over there. Okay, so let's see if we can try and take a more direct route. And we'll compare, we'll compare prices. We'll compare prices. So how much was the old, the old cost? Like 140,000 rubles or whatever. So this is going to come out to probably less than 30. Okay, literally a smidgen above 30, actually. 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's... That is a shocking amount of forward thinking that I usually am not capable of deploying. Either way, sign me up to that. I'm, I'm very happy to pay that slightly increased price. Uh, or that... That slightly increased price now in order to ensure that we're going to be able to hopefully use our own power down those lines. Which is, uh, which is kind of nice. Which is kind of nice. Okay. Next thing we need to do, a couple of substations. I mean, nothing crazy here. We, uh... Auto build, plonk that down. Again, this is the most expensive. This is the most expensive electricity setup that we're ever gonna that we're ever gonna have. Uh, we also need to bear in mind that we're gonna need a power connection for the. It's really difficult to see with these thick yellow lines. Uh, yeah. We are going to need to make sure that we have an electric connection for our uh, for our trams. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Number of workers that are waiting is uh, is already already something. Uh, I'm going to get an additional electric substation there. That's four substations for a town with a population of, like, not very many at the moment. That's fine. Right. Medium voltage wires. Do I think medium voltage wires are going to be enough? I do, actually. I do. Oh, no. Oh, no. We haven't actually built this yet. Ditch that. Ditch that. Build the power transformer, like, over... Build the power transformer over here. Yeah. Okay. Because the, the, uh, the small cables just don't have the capability to bridge... To bridge gaps very well. Let's build that over there. That's on auto build. That's fine. I think that we're already building the high voltage cable. Yeah, so that should be fine. Okay, we ended up spending a little bit of cash on the gravel road, but that's that's not the end of the world. Uh, what type of cable is this? It's an eight. It's an eight megavolt. Fine. And that goes in there. Excellent. And now, let's just use... I don't really want to use minimum voltage. We'll use medium voltage. I think medium voltage are probably... Probably what we're after here. Building is in the way. Really? Wonderful. Excellent. And I tell you what. Let's actually use... Let's actually use for this. It's a bit confusing to see because I'm building at the moment. Let's actually use high voltage for this. Uh, the reason will hopefully become clear in just a second. I say high voltage. It's the medium. It's the highest medium voltage wire. Uh, we're going to use a splitter here. That goes in there. We're going to pop this up here. Uh, in fact, no, we're not going to pop that over there. It doesn't even need to be high voltage. That's doesn't need to be a pull there. Uh, this is a ridiculous amount of forward thinking from from the old potato here. Keep keep coming around. Look at this. This is actually this is actually looking organized. What is this? I've kidnapped the old potato. It's it's a new it's a new workers and resources Soviet Republic player. In uh, in the potato in the potato body. How how weird is that to consider? Okay, let's, let's try try again, perhaps. There we go. That's looking good. I like how they seemingly, the developers have seemingly made the angles more forgiving. So I think I might even, yeah, I might even, look at that. Look at that. I can connect that. You'd never be able to use to do that. You need to get it coming out at a certain angle and whatnot. Now it's just point to point, and that is pretty excellent, actually. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, okay, so I think we have, yeah, we've got one more substation over there, but that's already been linked up. So now we just need to do the last cable over there like so. Ah, we're probably going to have to redo a couple of these in the future. But at the end of the day, we saved so much money here that I, I don't actually mind redoing any of these. Uh, that's actually completely fine. Do we have power? Yep, we've got power coming in um, coming in through this, through this cable here. That's excellent. That's really, really good. Building is without power supply. Pourquoi? Why? Is that building? 
Ah, uh, well, we got a power supply here. There should be. There should be unfinished medium voltage wires. Demolish the build. Okay, that's that's not good. That's a bug. That's got to be a bug. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's try again. Let's try again, shall we? Uh. Building is in the way. Fine. And over there. There we go. Happily ever after. Potential capacity problem. That's okay. We we almost certainly will not have a capacity problem. I'm pretty confident that we'll be fine. Right, so that's that. We've got the shopping center that we can zone and we will zone. Let's get the most fiddly bit down next. And by the way, the reason that I placed the power transformer over here, as I explained already, was because the, the wires are not able to stretch across... Uh, the small wires aren't able to stretch across the, the river without, like, some artificial island. It's just as easy to move the power transformer across to the other side of the river. In fact, it actually works out better for us because we have the ability to stick down... Uh, where is it? It's called... This. The railroad electric connection, I believe. Alternatively, I think there might be a modded one. Don't quote me on this, but... Uh, there might be a modded one that allows you to just hook up a high voltage. Uh, power plant? No, it's not in power plant. I'm sure that I had a... A modded... Uh, I don't even, I can't I don't even know what it's called. A small boatyard? Oh, that's that's pretty exciting actually. Let's let's build a small boatyard. Cuz I don't I don't even think you can get a small boatyard. Uh, you you actually can get a small boatyard. Does that small boatyard allow you to I mean, for 21,000 rubles, we'll just build it, right? What the heck, eh? Just just bash it down, eh? There we go. Come on. It was yellow. Excellent. Okay, don't know what the difference is between the, the, the different boatyards over there, but that's fine. Anyway, I was sure that I had some sort of connection. I was sure that I had some sort of, like, high-voltage connection. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Doesn't particularly matter. Doesn't particularly matter. We can always just stick in the, the old one. Uh, this one. Railroad electric connection. Wonderful. So that goes in right about there. Probably shouldn't have built the electricity pylons before before I did the railroad. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be all that difficult. Alright, that's a, that's fine. We'll make sure that we have a, a high capacity connection there, just in case. Just in, I, I mean, I doubt that we'll ever really need it, but it'll be fine. Alright, electrified railway. Let's freaking go. How much is that going to cost? 24,000 24, rubles a pop for, for that stretch of track. Probably round about the same over here as well. Okay, I need to try and... Yeah, I need to try and get a... That's actually the perfect curve. That is actually the perfect curve. And how much does this cost? That cost... Okay, so literally about 100,000 rubles for this entire construction. Uh, I think that I can be pretty pretty happy with that, to be honest. Yep, we throw down a train depot. The train depot can probably go... It shouldn't go anywhere near the center of town. That's ridiculous to consider. Train depot can probably go over here. We don't want to have it too close to anywhere. Too sharp of a turn. Not a problem. Right, excellent. Do I want to immediately get a signal setup up and running? I feel like I kind of do, actually. It's just good practice, really, more than anything. And I think that because this, because this corner is quite uh, is quite gentle, we should be able to just cross at any point. Yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. All right, chain signal goes in here. Oh yes, this is this is a great this is a great update. I remember I remember that. So that goes there then we've got that in there and that in there i think that that should indeed be correct so this is all allocated as one block we should actually probably just bring this closer here there we go ditch that and then plonk that down there that down there 
that down there. Uh, it's probably not super accurate, given that we... Uh, given that we haven't actually built the power transformer yet, it's probably causing some sort of issue with the, the block creation, but I mean, it doesn't particularly matter for, for all intents and purposes. Plonk that down, plonk that down, plonk that down, and plonk that down. Yeah, I think it's just good to, to have, you know, a little bit of a little bit of signal operation going straight from the start so that you can at least at least make some make some uh, make some best practice straight away make sure that everything is is happy new vehicle available fine fine building fire fine this is all this is all old news old news old news old news get rid of it Right, well, I think that we're ready to, to deploy, actually. I think that we are ready to deploy. Buildings without a power supply should have a power supply. It does indeed have a power supply. Let's get the train depot up and running. Uh, the only thing that I haven't flippin' built is fields. Can you believe that? I can actually believe that. Right, we have a huge number of workers over here. Wowzers. Uh, are people able to access... Yeah, people are able to access the school, I believe. No. No, 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 no. People are not able to access the school from that big, from that big house. Let's, let's fix that. Uh, yeah, what's the way, what's the way that we go about fixing that? A line straight across here. A line straight across here. I say a line, I mean a pathway, of course. As if that wasn't totally obvious. There we go. So that should make it entirely accessible for people to get to the school with ease, actually. I don't think that people on the outskirts are going to be able to... Yeah, people on the outskirts are definitely not going to be able to get into the center of town. But I think I'm fine with them just sort of atrophying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll be able to... When people move out of this area, eventually people will move out because it's too cold or it's too, you know, there's no food or whatever. Jeez, what are people complaining about these days? Whatever the case, when people actually do move out, uh, we will be able to we'll be able to build uh, we'll be able to build something better. Crank down some firefighters. There we go. That's looking good. I mean, honestly, that's just too many doctors. Just in general, uh, we've got shoppers. We've got no teachers with higher education at the moment. We've got kindergartens looking good. That's fine. Cinema's up and running. Oh, one thing that I did forget, and that's because it's in a slightly separate location. Equipment for citizens. It is in sports playground, of course. We could get a we could get a stadium. I feel like a stadium is is nice, but not necessary, even slightly. Not necessary, even slightly. Okay, so let's just spend yet more cash, yet more cash. On Potato Grad. Excellent. We got our train depot up and running. Good stuff. Building is without a power supply at this end. Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't actually connected that power transformer over it there, but that's not necessarily a problem. How much power will I need? I, I think, you know what? I'll just... You know, I'll just... Uh, I'll just put in more power than I'll probably need. There we go. Okay, so the only gosh darn thing that I haven't built at this point is fields. Can you believe that? I actually can believe that. And, 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 very, very important that I get this down. A gas station. I continuously forget that I will need uh, gas stations uh, around the map. But it's true. I, I, I need gas stations. It's, it's a shocking realization, but I, I do actually need them. Okay, uh, we'll throw that in like there fine and then we'll probably link that up to the main central uh the central fuel network there's no reason not to i don't think because fuel is expensive especially when we're in the middle of nowhere so we will absolutely link that up uh there was also a great suggestion in the comments about linking up about linking up the heating plants to a fuel distribution network i really 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 like that idea i like that idea so much in fact that i'm going to do it right now uh, if only I can remember where the distribution offices actually live. I can never flip and remember where the distribution offices live. I, it's just, it escapes me every time, every single time. Storage and warehouses, storage and warehouses is where it's at. 
Right, so distribution office. Let's plonk that down over there. Excellent. And we're going to just get a couple of MAZ dumpers, and the MAZ dumpers are going to be linked up to heating plants all over the map. Or should I say, well, not the, not the heating plants, but the small aggregate storages that are right next to the map. And we've already got two trucks that deliver fuel exclusively to Turistovsky small aggregate storage. So we should just be able to, I don't know, double, triple those those trucks, and then we'll be we'll be absolutely grand. Uh, yeah, so that's great. Are we... We have no We have no people working at our power plant. What the actual heck is happening? Where? Where is everyone working? Is everyone working on this stupid brick factory or in this stupid coal mine? Probably. Probably, yes. Yes, that is, that is what's happening. Okay, max this building out. Max this building out. Maybe see if a couple of people decide to stop at the bus stop and, uh, and work over there. Uh, I should probably decrease the number of people that are working in the hospital, and the fire station's already been cut back substantially, so that's fine. Uh, maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference. The coal mine, the coal mine does not need, the coal mine does not need anywhere near the, the current maximum number of employees. I think 70 is completely acceptable. Max out the coal ore processing, we want that to be maxed out at all times. We want people to work in the brick factory, that's for sure. That is for sure. Uh, and now people hopefully will start just appearing at the bus stop and will allow me to Allow me to transport them to work in the coal plant. Okay, medium distribution office. Let's have a little look at our lines Let's have a little look at our lines a little look at uh, A little look at what is doing what okay, so yes, you've got two trucks. We know about these two Let's get you to go to depot here and you're going to go to depot there. This line... This line is going to get deleted. Sure. Uh, I don't know. Can I not delete the line? Can I not delete the line? Is that a thing that I can do? Apparently not. Okay, alright. Doesn't particularly matter. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Do I have another... Do I have another... Uh, truck setup that's manually delivering. Where are you delivering to? Yeah, you're delivering directly to the heating plant. I I knew. I knew. Yeah, I knew that we had we had some more trucks here. Okay, so this is interesting. Oh, nice. You can actually view the line. You can see the route that they take. So they go from here, and they take the goods to the heating plant, and they just sit in the heating plant and wait. That's fine, actually. That's completely fine. Let's get these three. Let's get these three. Let's get these th three trucks to go to the to go to the distribution factory. But actually, whilst I'm here, I wonder: is it perhaps me? Is it perhaps worth me actually just getting a small aggregate storage here? I think that it probably is. That's large potato. Uh, it's a it's a bit of a daft angle to contend with, but uh, fine. We'll build it. We'll we'll pay that price. We'll we'll pay that price. Can we yoink right through the middle? We can't yoink right through the middle. Okay, good stuff. And do we want to get a fuel station over here as well? can never have too many fuel stations. That's a complete lie. You absolutely can have too many fuel stations. Let's not get another fuel station, lest I mess something up tremendously. And then let's go back to here, and let's assign all of these trucks. And actually, save the, save the bacon of that truck that was stranded in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So, that is, that is a good consolidation of all of our trucks. Let's buy, like, I don't know, a couple more, maybe? The BZ252 uh, dumper is actually, that's legit. Wow, that's, that's a new default? That's really good. 25 tons of coal? Or indeed anything else that you could possibly want? That is very, very respectable. Um, not good enough for me, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to buy a couple of additional Maz trucks. And we will get to, we'll get the route assigned here. We also need to link up the brand new, the brand new fuel uh, stuff. Okay, we want to unload. We want to unload at here. Unload. Yep. 
if storage percent is less than 70. 80. 80, I would say. 80 is fine. Uh, similarly, let's wait until this gets built. Building's not finished. Good. Unload. Storage percent is less than 80. Coal, coal, coal. Wonderful. And the last one is in Potato Grad, which we already have discussed. Okay, so that's good. So we now have we now have a coal distribution network. Should just work. Should just work, to be honest. It should just work. It should just work. Now, this small distribution office is going to see a large increase to the number of the number of places that it is going to supply to. Uh, and there is frankly no reason not to increase the work of this depot. Makes complete sense. Makes complete sense. It is going to take a long time for the trucks to get absolutely anywhere, but I think that it'll be worth it, and we can probably just add a couple of extra trucks if we need to. Crazily enough, I am actually adding... That That's a ridiculous journey, now that I think about it. Fuel is being made right... Well, right here. We could just deliver it over there. No. Potato, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. Just... Fine. Just get, you know, just don't worry about it. That's not our main focus anyway. We, we hardly have any trucks operational in, in, in that area. This is our main focus over here. And that is, and that is key. Uh, this I'm going to actually bump up to 90%. So if it's less than 90%, then I'm going to dispatch. Yeah, if it's less than 90%, I'm going to dispatch a truck. The reason being is that it is so gosh darn far away that it's going to take us years of travel time. Um, and we're probably going to need to bolster... Probably going to need to bolster the distribution office with a couple of additional trucks. Uh, and again, they're going to be T-138 cisterns. I kind of regret using a, a small distribution office, but hey-ho. Anyway, that's pretty much all of the infrastructure that we care about for Potato Grad, right? I mean, if only perhaps I focused on building the fields, we might actually be producing something by now, but hey-ho. Uh, we still need to start making our own power properly. We still need to start making our own power properly. Have I also doofed this? No, the factory connection's out to the side. That's fine. Okay, let's actually, let's actually see if we can stick down... Let's actually see if we can properly stick down a couple of fields. Uh, the good news, by the way, about this train platform being here is that we've got this space which can be filled with, I don't know, meat production or a brewery or, well, all of the above, to be honest. Um, this is a very, very nice place. Very, very nice place for the train platform. Ah, before I do, before I place the fields, again, priorities here, eh? Uh, let's get a heating pipe connected up. I know this is a large heating plant. We probably shouldn't be building large heating plants wherever we freaking go, but, like, whatever. Am I going to be able to connect up with one pipe? That might be two pipes, actually. Too long? That's significantly irritating. Should I just move it? Should I just move it? How much does a, heating, a heat exchanger cost? A heat exchanger costs 17 grand. I'd need to demolish these two houses. But we can just send people to work in the, you know, in the gulag of, in the gulag of, uh, of Kolovskysky, right? That's entirely possible. Okay, so let's see if I can get away with just demolishing that one house. And then we'll move. Oh, potato, you, oh, God, that, oh, the, the auto building was turned on. The, oh, we auto built the pipe. Oh, the... If this doesn't work out, we're gonna be we're gonna be in trouble. That's a lot of money. Okay. Heat exchanger. Good. Good. It's too long. It's too long. It's too long. No. We've gotta make this work. We've gotta make this work. Too sharp of a U-turn? Or not a U-turn, just a turn in general. It works! 
It works! Okay, one single connection. That's that's looking pretty darn good. Anyway, uh, my hope is that eventually we're going to be able to use this heating power plant for, you know, a whole bunch of things, really. And not just not just a single stupid heat exchanger in the middle of potato bread. That's obviously not what I, what I want to do. Anyway, we should get these people to work. We should get these people to work. Let's actually get some freaking fields uh, in play. Now, we need to get the vehicles... Oh, in fact, the mechanism the mechanism limit might have been increased, actually, for for this farm. Either way, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't particularly matter. Let's let's get some fields down. Let's actually just start freaking farming so that I can at least say I'm a farmer. Big fields, big fields, big fields, big fields. All right, some nice large fields. Good stuff. Excellent. And I don't actually want to build over here. Let's let's uh, let's play it safe over th in that vicinity. Again, like let's uh, let's be very very careful. Now this might actually end up being more than enough fields. Might end up being more than enough fields. There's not much access around around here. Um, so we're probably going to have to build a road between these two points here. But that's fine. We'll build a gravel road and then the rest of the road connections can just be... Can just be dirt. Cool. Cool. Is that everything connected up? It is now. I actually think that that I think that that'll be fine. To be honest with you, have I missed the season for this year? When do we usually need to sow crops? Probably, probably already passed. It's probably already passed. Uh, so that should auto find all of the fields as soon as the road gets built. Okay, not assigned to any farm. It should be, should be auto finding the fields. I hope that it finds them. Too late for sowing. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. I knew winter was coming. So when is the sowing season then? Okay, you know what? Just add the fields manually, potato. Okay. So how many fields is how many fields is that? That's seven fields. Seven fields. That's that's okay. That's okay. We can definitely squeeze more in here. There's definitely there's definitely more space. I mean, within three thousand meters. Look at the range of that. The, I mean, this farm can like deal with all the stuff up to here. Probably don't want it to, given that. That will cause problems, um, a capacity problem in the farm for sure. So what do we need? We need a a tractor to sow. A tractor to sow. It has it has to be this tractor. Four tractors to sow. Cool. Four point five tons of food. We don't have any other high capacity covered truck that can work in a farm, apart from apart from this thing. Four harvesters, eight eight carriers, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess that's fine. Uh, I mean, we're going to be able to do absolutely nothing for a little while, which is, I mean, very, very infuriating. But at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. Uh, what other infrastructure do we need around these parts? We will need We will need a grain silo for sure. We'll need a grain silo for sure to ensure that we have capacity. But then, maybe we do just want to, like, get a livestock farm, a food factory, a distillery, slaughterhouse meat storage, that that whole, that whole sort of stuff. I, I mean, I was going to say, I, I don't know how we're going to connect, uh, we're going to connect the, the, the farm and the food output all the way to, all the way to Disneyland Ovsk. But no, we do actually have a method of, of connecting up, uh, of connecting up the two locations. And you know what, before... Before we actually start producing anything, we will we will ensure that we have a, a solid connection here. That is important. Yikes, that's nasty. That is nasty. Let's do a little bit of terraforming here. Uh we have a free construction bulldozer depot. What? Is that not within range? That's absolutely within 3,000 meters. Really? Highly questionable? 
Highly, highly, highly question. We must be able to... Okay, so it's literally in the middle of the river that it stops working. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks a lot. The whole point of me building it was so that I didn't have to pay for these stupid little, uh, these stupid little land modifications. Too steep for an incline? Oh, we'll be able to, we'll be able to, to get this. We'll be able to get this. I have no doubt. There we go. Too sharp for turn. We got it. Nice. Okay. The fact that it's a dirt road is, is garbage, but whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. What do we, what do we have here? What do we have here? A river cargo ship? A river cargo ship actually seems like exactly what we need. Moskvich motor ship. I tell you what, maybe? Maybe that would be kind of cool. We could move workers around, but I mean, it's, there's not much point. Uh, Hercules, open cargo. Nada. Nada. Barkus. A uh, little small, maybe. Raketa. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. The river cargo ship, which I'm pretty sure is new. Or at least new within the last two patches. Is certainly what we want. Is absolutely what we want. Very, very, very much what we want. Uh, and I'm very, very excited about that. And actually, I think that's probably going to be... Even that's like an excessive amount of of, uh, of food that we're able to transport. 85 tons of food is a lot of food. 42 tons of meat. That's a lot of meat. The other thing that I was thinking about, but I haven't really acted on, as I'm not really sure if I want to do it. Uh, in the meantime, to just sort of fill potato grads... I don't know, worker calendar. I mean, look at the number of workers that we have waiting. We could get a little bit of board production up and running. And we've got a little bit of a forest over here. We could, uh, we could ha you know, build a sawmill or whatever and then transport that up the road. And then we could stick that, and we could stick that into the storage zone. And then, therefore, we wouldn't have to spend quite as much on importing, uh, on importing resources from the West. That's an option. Also, look at how pathetic this... This construction, this construction uh, train thing is. It's just so garbage. It's just so garbage. It's so unbelievably garbage. It's really terrible. Everything else is working, is working just as intended. Look at this. Look at this. Disneyland of, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. The biggest problem, 100% right now, is... By the time that we, we end up uh, at Disneyland Ovsk opening day, we may not have we may not have a worker connection across this brand new bridge or across the train bridge or through the train track. We might just we might just not have uh, a way to get workers shipped across to uh, to our tourist hotspot fast enough. I worry about that. That is a real concern. What the heck are we doing over here? Got a, a roller? At least the, the, the runway's coming along nicely. So that's pretty good. That's real good, in fact. Yeah, I mean, everything's... Everything's just... Just rumbling on, really, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't think that we really need any more construction vehicles. Maybe we need a little bit more concrete, but I'd wager that the only reason that we need a little bit more... Uh, or some more concrete infrastructure is because we're... We're at the stage in the game where we're pouring a heck of a lot of concrete on this... On this, uh... On this runway and on, the, on, on these pads and whatnot. It's not actually concrete that we need for this. Interesting. And yet we need concrete for the um, for the pads, for the parking pads. Very, very interesting indeed. Very, very interesting indeed. Either way, I'm super happy with the this entire process, to be honest with you. It's it's worked out really well. Uh, we're going to need to sort of a bespoke heating setup over here. We're, we're going to need to get something better than the, the long train of, uh, of, of heating pipes. I don't want to demolish because we, apparently we've got 77 tons of steel over here already. So we'll, you know, we'll we'll make a little incision along this pipe somewhere and yeah, pr probably over here and then we'll just build a, a heating plant somewhere instead of instead of using instead of using this uh, suspend construction there, suspend construction there. Suspend construction there. Good stuff. Okay, there's no real there's no real rush to get that done. As I say, we're not gonna open we're not gonna open Disneyland Ovsk until you know we're absolutely ready to do so. And when we do, I just have to hope that the game hasn't been patched to make tourism absolutely terrible. 
One has to hope, comrade. One has to hope. One one literally has to hope. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of workers. Yeah, everyone is without a job. Literally everyone is without a job. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? Also, we don't even have a train. We don't even have a train to, to take people over here. I think maybe this idea of like uh, of like a sawmill. I think this idea of a of a sawmill is uh, is actually a pretty good idea. Right. Well, let's get a tram. Let's get a tram down. What do we want to do? What's the top speed? Forty five, sixty five, sixty. Uh, we'll get the tram T two, and we'll get two of them. We'll get two of them as well. Now we need to do this in a very specific way. We need to say you here. Passengers, tourists, students. Passenger, tourists, students. Passenger tourist students. The reason that we need to do it in this way is uh, if we start, if we put the start location over here and then the end location over here, the, the game is going to have a little bit of an unhappy time trying to find the first starting location. There we go. There we go. Let's not put this train out until this train has uh, has passed the point, has passed the points, uh, and we're able to clearly see. That there is space on the track for the next locomotive. Cool. Okay, so it's going to cost us a little bit to run this track because electricity costs a little bit of money. Unless, of course, we somehow have started producing our own electricity. Let's have a little look. We have not, as we are still paying for electricity. Which is the most infuriating thing in the world because I have, I have paid a great deal of money to try and import... Oh, actually, wait, why are we importing electricity? What? What? How are we importing electricity if we have people? That's a strange one. Import of resources from the Soviet bloc. It is actually increasing. Last month, power was 3,000 rubles. This year, power is 16,000 rubles. It's almost negligible. It's, it's so little money that it makes me actually want to cry. Uh, that's okay, though. The brick factory is almost done. That's very, very exciting, in fact. Very, very, very exciting. This this whole town is, is looking great, actually. There's so few issues as well. Everyone is seemingly very, very happy. Which is great, because, you know, given the very short life expectancy that I would expect everyone to have... It's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Ever since we cranked down the coal production, it's actually been fine. Yeah, this is actually completely okay. Yeah, this is actually fine. This is actually fine. We we can add a couple of extra houses to, to Kolovsky Ski and we'll be completely fine. Oh my goodness, we've actually completed the medical university. We built that entirely by ourselves and it only took us like four episodes. Wow. What the heck happened there? What the heckity heck happened there? That was kind of bonkers. Uh, big bonkers, I would say. That uh, Don't repeat that to anyone. Uh, yeah, don't, don't repeat that to anyone at all. Uh, what's the walking distance? The walking distance is not quite large enough to get to the center of town. Now, this is where I would love some better roads. Some better roads would be, would be really, really good. I think we're, we're gonna hold off on the better roads for a little while. But, you know, we'll settle for a slightly better, perhaps, path system around the center of town that might... Yep, yeah, that, that might allow access to, like, one or two, uh, or one or two of these flats. So that does make a, a big old difference. And, in fact, if we're able to accelerate the walking speed further, then that would be wonderful. Okay, the game does seem to lag out rather a large amount whenever I uh, finish building a path. Okay, this, this house is going to get moved. There's nobody living in the house anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, unpause. Uh, there we go. And we'll build a path connection over there. So that should speed up the walking pace to the university. And therefore, maybe just means that we'll have a few more, uh, a few more professors able to get to work. Uh, yeah, okay, that, that actually, that actually did do that. Um, so we've got two of the three, we've got two of the three big brand new prefab buildings, uh, that are able to, that are able to get to where they need to go. We have a lot of people without a job. Go into medical university stuff. Go, go teach at the medical university. That would be excellent. There we go. Let's get another path over there. And again, that should increase the walking distance. That's wonderful. There is no way that I can, like... 
get a path through here, is there? I mean, I know that I... That, I mean, that really should be possible to get a path through there. If I'd have planned it better, it, it would be possible to get a, plan, uh, a path through there. I can probably get a path through here, though. Don't think it'll really make much of a difference. But it's, uh, it's at least worth a punt. There we go. Okay. Eh, maybe it increases the warp range just a little bit. Doesn't allow anyone to access the university, but that's fine. Either way, the city hall slash accounting office should now have enough employees to work. There we go. So that's great. So now we can track education numbers uh, a little bit more... A little bit more accurately here. We don't have a graph. Do we not have a graph? Domestic. I thought we did have a graph, but... Uh, I thought we had a graph from this area, but apparently not. I mean, either way, we can keep an eye. We can keep an eye on the educated uh, on the educated numbers. Also, the number of unemployed workers as well. We'll keep an eye, a very very close eye on that. We can throw a couple people into there. I mean, look. At the end of the day, if we have a couple of unemployed people, it's not the end of the world because we want to have unemployed people because we want to we want to we want to have people that are ready to work at Disney Disneyland Ovsk. So. You know, we just have to be, we just have to be prepared for that. Uh, and also, people heading to the bus platform is also what we want. We want people to be taken to construction sites to actually build. Uh, and to be honest, using this as a moment to really, I guess, pause and build up the number of educated people that we have in Turistovsky, actually kind of a positive. Actually kind of a massive positive. Um, and something that I'm super, super, super duper okay with uh, seeing happen. Uh, right, okay, so, in the next episode, Potato Grad hopefully is going to start coming online. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to start sewing. Um, we've not actually advanced time altogether too much over the course of this episode, just because of the fact that, you know, um, time, we've just done, be doing a lot of building, and time doesn't really matter when you're building. Uh, we are still missing coal over here. We're still missing coal over here. We're still waiting for the delivery of coal from the, from the Maz trucks. I have no flippin' idea where the heck they are or where the heck they're going to be coming from. Like, it is a... It's a trek. It is a trek. I I hope that we're going to have enough... I hope that we're going to have enough coal in time for winter, actually, in Potato Grad. Otherwise, we'll have some people freezing. It's 31 degrees at the moment, thankfully, so... This is, this is one of the trucks. That's cool. This is one of the trucks that's en route at the moment. Uh, we can speed up this journey a little bit, perhaps. I don't want to... don't want to speed things up too, too much. Or I don't want to interrupt the, the natural flow of the roads. We can... There we go. We can build a, a couple of... A couple of roads to help out. There we go. And then... Actually, you're probably just going to come around here. Let's not interrupt the natural flow of the roads too much, he says, as he butchers the landscape. Right, that's looking much better. That's actually not too far. It's actually not too bad. It's it's something that we'll, we'll absolutely manage to deal with. Okay, next episode, Potato Grad is hopefully going to come online. Hopefully, we're going to be able to start sowing. If we don't start sowing, we could always just start importing crops. Whether we start importing crops automatically, or what we will probably more likely do is... Um, is just drive something down to the to the border, pick up some grain, bring it back, and store it in the grain silo and the, the corresponding infrastructure that we will build around this farm here. Probably going to want to get an additional farm at some point as well. But either way, the point of the matter is, is that we are now, we are now in the final stages. We are now in the final stages of preparing for the Disneyland of opening day, which is very, very exciting. And I'm very, very excited to see what the heck happens. That's another hotel up and running. We got two, we got two hotels that are ready to rock and roll. Wowzers, that was blisteringly quick. Almost all of the attractions should be ready uh, on opening day, which is very, very exciting indeed. I hope you'll very much tune into the next episode, ladies and gents, to find out if we actually open Disneyland Dovsk uh, on time, on budget, on schedule. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you ever so much for all the fantastic support over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash Robert Potato. Thanks to Banana Nana, that's CSAP by and Aurelio for being three $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.